In this video, I am going to show you how I configure the settings in my Red Magic 5G to give me a competitive advantage in Last Day on Earth and Frostborn. Okay, so this is a new phone, and so I don't have all of my stuff in it yet, but we've got Last Day on Earth and we got Frostborn, but I don't actually click on the games here. Instead, I just flip the switch. You can see the switch right here. When I flip it, it turns into a gaming console. And so here's all of my games, which again, I only have two right now. So we're gonna pull up Last Day on Earth because that until Frostborn comes out globally, I'm still covering Last Day on Earth the most. Okay, so here we are in Last Day on Earth. You know, it's got incredible, you know, 144 refresh rate, a 6.65 inch AMOLED. It's got an eSport display. So it's it's got some pretty amazing stuff. It's got the 5G. It's got a Snapdragon 865 processor with 12 gigabytes of RAM. I mean, this thing is an incredible powerhouse. It's got 256 gigabytes of hard drive space. Okay, so when you flip this screen like this, you can see, you know, we've got the turbo fan, we've got the 90 hertz screen, we've got the 40 shock. This this doesn't work on Last Day on Earth, but a lot of games, it'll, it'll basically give you a vibration feedback when you're getting shot or you fall off a building. But the, some of the stuff I love, so I love being able to block messages and block calls. Um, it is just awesome to be able to have that capability when I'm playing games, uh, to be able to just take a snapshot like that, you know, it's just all right there that's kind of fun but what makes this phone amazing in my opinion is the shoulder triggers okay so this is my right trigger and this is my left trigger and now when i first did it i thought oh it's trigger to shoot you know left trigger to here but since then since i've been playing especially since i've been frostborn i've realized that this actually isn't the best way i mean don't get me wrong it's awesome to be able to click a trigger and shoot but what I think is even better is if you, especially in Frostborn, because there's a lot of spells, there's a lot of things that you can have in your inventory. Uh, what I like to do is I like to put these on, maybe, maybe those two are easy to get, but I put them on two things that I want to be able to do quickly. And so, for example, let's, let's just do these for now. Um, so now, if I'm in the middle of a fight and I need to be quick, I can just get the finger recognition to go boom 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 so it's it's pretty quick like that and so let's say that was a speed potion or something like that i'm able to run get it done and just that trigger always selects the right thing so that that's probably the the thing that i think for last day on earth and frostborn is going to be the biggest advantage uh, to having a red magic. I also have this console thing that once I get the case for it, I'll be able to attach to this. And uh, and so I'll be able to match this joystick with this right here. And then I'll be able to take these buttons and I'll key bind each one of these four buttons. And then these two buttons, and then these two buttons. So all eight of those buttons I can, <laughs> and then, you know, so all eight of those buttons will be like these two things. And so instead of having uh, two, I'll have 10 uh, things. So it's a pretty amazing phone. It's built for gaming. Last Day on Earth isn't quite complex enough to need. Obviously doesn't, Last Day on Earth doesn't need this, but it's nice to have two triggers for Last Day on Earth. Frostborn, on the other hand, there's so many different spells and stuff that it would be needed for that. You know, another thing that this phone has that the Red Magic 3S, my old phone, uh, does not have. It has a three lens camera. The It's called a Sony triple camera. Now let me get in focus. Come on, focus. There we go. It just gives incredible pictures and super night mode. Like if it's really dark at night, it's able to still capture amazing images. And then it's got a 4,500 amp battery. This phone just basically, it's the ultimate gaming phone. I don't know if you guys can hear the fan on this thing, but when you turn it in gaming mode and you, you turn that f cooling fan off, Y'all can hear that. It provides a lot of cooling. It basically takes air, put it through here. It funnels it through the phone and out here. So through the processing, really cools the phone down, allows you to 
play a lot of different games and, and without it heating up your phone. So this phone is amazing and I'm really lucky to be on Red Magic's team. I hope that uh, you guys consider it. If you guys are interested in this phone, I put links on where to buy this phone in the pin post and description of this video. Check it out. I honestly think this is probably the best gaming phone in the world. I love it. I've loved my Red Magic 3S and I can't wait to play more on this phone because they've made a lot of upgrades to a phone that I already loved. All right, guys. See you next time.